won't even text you, niggas be bugging mental. I got a lot. Yo, hello. It's Revy here and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the liquid explosion effect you guys saw in the beginning. If you guys want to support me I have a website feel free to check that out. Uh, I have some editing packs there that could uh, benefit you in your editing. And yeah let's get right into this tutorial here. So the first thing you're going to do is to import your footage you're going to use for this effect. And I'm going to use this clip of Central C here. And the first thing we're going to do is to roto brush out our person here. And if you don't know how to roto brush, I made a tutorial on it, which will be linked in the description. And now when you're done with your roto brushing here, it should look something like this here. You can duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl D and then you can make the background visible again. And we're going to focus on the middle layer here. Delete the roto brush here. And here we're going to add an effect called CC Mr. Mercury. And it's going to make this like a water effect here, which looks very, very clean. The settings I will be using is going to be 15.3 on the birth rate and 1.2 on longevity, gravity, zero. And then we're going to keyframe the velocity here. So you're going to set it to zero, keyframe the velocity, go to the ending, set it to 15. And look something like this now. Open the layer up here, mark the keyframes, press F9, open up the graph, and here drag this one up. So it becomes like an explosion in the beginning. Boom. To make this more interesting, this effect, we're going to add colorama, and it should look something like this now. And here you're going to open up input phase, and then change the phase shift to the color you like. And I'm going to go with, yeah. 110 degrees and after that we're going to be adding deep glow to this so it looks something like this now i'm just going to use the normal settings and then just press on mold here if you're not satisfied with the like colors here you can change the time remapping here because the colors are basically based on the background you guys can see it's in control alt t go further in just change the keyframe so you get some colors you like. Then this might look better. You can mess around a lot of here to get the colors you like. But after that, you're going to go to the top layer here, which is our roto brushed person here. And we're going to add an effect called Light Warp. And here I'm going to set the background layer to the liquid layer. So you get the colors of the background. And I'm going to increase the background blur to 849 warp width to 311. Change the blending mode to add and then set the tint and saturation to 100% and pre mold background and then it should look something like this. This effect basically gives some light here from the uh, liquid layer here we made so it looks more realistic. And after this you're going to mark all the layers, right click, pre-compose, name it liquid and here you're going to add RSMB 32 to 0.30, alt motion CRS to liquid. And then you can use GPU. So yeah, now you get something like this here. And as I said before, guys, you can mess around a lot with the colors, with the timing, all of that to get a look you're like more satisfied with. But I thought this was very, very clean. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys. If you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any new ideas or tutorials I can make, please comment it down below. Don't forget to check out my website, join my Discord server, check out my socials. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.